today's video, we will do a full and complete comparison between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, two of the most anticipated phones ever. Just to put things in perspective, the iPhone 7 came to light in September 2016, while the Note 7 in August 2016. So there's only one month gap between the two phones. And of course, a lot of people are asking questions like, is the Note 7 better than the iPhone 7 Plus? Or is the iPhone 7 Plus better than the Note 7? While trying to decide which one to buy. And of course, there are people who have already made their choice but are still left slightly intrigued by what's on the other side. So in this video, we will do an in-depth comparison between the iPhone 7 Plus versus the Note 7 and draw a meaningful conclusion to tackle all concerns and questions directly. Let's dive right in. Let's talk about the build and design. It is essential to understand that both the iPhone 7 and the Note 7 are gorgeous smartphones. The iPhone 7 is crafted out of aluminum and has a smooth and rounded form factor. When you hold it in your hands, you get a sensation of holding a truly premium device with no cut corners. However, it is very hard not to notice the radically beautiful design of the Note 7, especially due to the dual curved glass edges that give it a truly exclusive look that seems to surpass the aesthetics of the iPhone 7. Now remember, in my opinion, Phone design is a very subjective subject, and anyone out there may prefer the design of the iPhone 7 over the Note 7 or vice versa. Go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know which one you prefer personally. And I should quickly mention that the Note 7, unlike the unibody aluminum construction of the iPhone 7, is crafted out of glass and metal. Obviously, the back and front panels are glass, while the trim surrounding the edges of the device is all metal. As far as build is concerned, although both phones use different crafting materials, we get two high caliber phones nonetheless. Now let's talk about the water resistance capabilities. The Note 7 has an IP68 grade water resistance while the iPhone 7 gets graded at IP67. The major difference here is that while both phones can easily handle water splashes, rainy days and a quick shower, only the Note 7 gives you a green light to actually take your phone underwater, which could be useful for taking underwater photos or videos. In fact, you are allowed to have your phone underwater for up to 30 minutes not to exceed a depth of 5 foot or 1.5 meters. Apart from water, both the iPhone 7 and Note 7 are equally protected from dust, dirt and sand. So to conclude, we have an equally high caliber build quality but as far as design and beauty, we are in a more subjective territory. I personally prefer the looks of the Note 7 over the iPhone 7, but you may think otherwise. And like I said, drop a comment below to let me know which one. As for water resistance capabilities, Note 7 steals the wind because it offers higher protection. Now let's move on to the processor and memory iPhone 7 sports a quad-core A10 Fusion processor with 3 GB of RAM, while the Note 7 sports a quad-core Snapdragon 820 processor with 4 GB of RAM. The base iPhone 7 model starts at 32 GB of internal storage with an option to buy a 128 GB or 256 GB model. The Note 7 comes in a 64 GB internal storage model and of course it offers an SD card slot which allows you to add, if needed, up to 256 gigabytes of extra storage space using a micro SD card. That's something a lot of people appreciate since you aren't limited to a set amount of storage. With the iPhone 7, if you get the 32 gigabyte model, you are stuck with 32 gigabytes for the life of your ownership, as you cannot add additional storage due to the lack of a storage expansion slot. If you do end up buying the iPhone 7, I personally recommend the 128GB model for everyone. Anyway, towards the end of this video, I will run a processor and memory benchmark on both of these phones to see which one has more raw processing power, so stay tuned for that. Let's quickly talk about the dimensions. The iPhone 7 Plus measures 158.2 millimeters in height, it is 77.9 millimeters wide and 7.3 millimeters thick. It weighs 188 grams. The Note 7 measures 153.5 millimeters in height. It is 73.9 millimeters wide and 7.9 millimeters thick. 
it weighs 169 grams. So obviously the iPhone 7 is thinner, but the Note 7 is smaller overall and lighter. But in all honesty, I have stopped caring about minor size differences a while ago. This is certainly not a category that will make you decide between the two. So let's move on to the display. iPhone 7 Plus has a 5.5 inch IPS LCD screen with a resolution of 1080 by 1920 and also 401 pixels per inches. The Note 7 has a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED screen with a resolution of 1440 by 2560 and you get 518 pixels per inches. The numbers seem to favor the Note 7, but look, there's nothing wrong with the iPhone 7 display. It is a gorgeous, sharp, and clear display with accurate color reproduction. And it even has improved over the iPhone 6s with 25% more brightness and a wider color gamut, which means better color reproduction. It is certainly a world-class display. It is, after all, as of the publication of this video, the latest flagship device from Apple. But the Note 7 has the edge. It will be sharper because of that higher quad HD resolution and it will be more vibrant and it will be a richer display with fine details popping out. It may not be directly obvious when you're watching standard high resolution movies or playing games, but it will be very obvious when you look at high resolution pictures, videos, and even some content rich websites. I do believe, however, based on my own eyesight, that iPhone 7 seems to have more accurate color reproduction while the Note 7 has a sharper display. Note 7 can also play HDR content where HDR content is available. Basically, HDR allows for a more realistic looking video. You should know that this kind of HDR capabilities are currently only possible on some high-end HD TVs. So this is certainly a premium feature that the iPhone 7 lacks. Unfortunately, the amount of HDR video content currently available is so little that this feature doesn't add a great value for comparison purposes. But the bottom line is, the Note 7 packs a higher resolution, a sharper display, and a more advanced viewing technology. Despite this, I have to say that the display quality isn't something you should put a lot of weight on in deciding between the two, since iPhone 7 is still a world-class display, as is Note 7. Now let's move on to a much more important comparison category, the software. Now because this is such an important category, let's go into some healthy amount of detail. The Note 7 comes with the latest version of Android, whereas the iPhone 7 Plus comes with the latest version of iOS. Comparing the software really means comparing Samsung-specific Android experience versus iOS experience. And the difference between Android and iOS can be divided into three categories. Number one, customization capabilities. This is a field where the Note 7 leads because you can fully customize this phone and personalize it to fit your personal sense of style. You can add some spice to your home screens by adding real-time widgets such as calendars, clocks, weather, news feeds, stock info, and even create color-themed folders. You can also tap in to the Note 7's theme engine to download and install custom themes and your phone will look like a different device altogether. Unfortunately, none of this is possible on the iPhone. All you can change is the wallpaper for the lock and home screens and you get a static grid of app icons on each home screen with the ability to create folders. You do have access to widgets on a side screen on the iPhone 7, but you cannot customize it with the same amount of freedom that can be achieved on Samsung. Category number two, the app ecosystem. Now, although both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store have millions of apps available for download, the quality of apps and games that come from Apple App Store is simply better. Let's be clear. Of course, the Google Play Store has some really amazing apps and games, but when you compare the quality ratio, Apple App Store wins by having a higher number of quality apps and games, period. Additionally, most games run much smoother on iOS than their Android counterparts. Therefore, if you're an app-only person that isn't concerned about customization features, and if you are an avid mobile gamer, iPhone will be the better choice. Just one extra word on gaming. If you are more of a gamer than anything else, iPhone 7 is the way to go because just about every title I compared on either of these phones 
ran better on the iPhone 7 with a stable and smooth frame rate. Category 3, unique software functionality. Now both the iPhone 7 and the Note 7 have some unique software functionality. The iPhone has 3D touch and the Note 7 has the S Pen as well as the Edge panels. Let's take a look at these. So the S Pen is a unique tool device for the Note 7 that allows you to transform your cell phone into a precise note taking and sketching device. This isn't some stylus that you use to navigate your phone even though you can do that but it's an actual pen with an incredibly sensitive tip which if you wanted to could be used to draw a masterpiece or simply take realistic handwritten notes. It also adds an extra suite of functions in the form of air command that allow for some practical and productive use. So briefly, that's what the S Pen gets you and it is a critical feature. The edge panels aren't as important as the S Pen, but they are pretty neat. You can swipe inwards from the edge of the Note 7's screen and you get access to various edge panels. These panels will give you access to quick app shortcuts, your favorite contacts, and you can even add weather widgets, news widgets, stock widgets, and much more. It's all customizable in the spirit of Android, so you can add and remove panels as you please. So let's talk about the iPhone and 3D Touch. What you get is a pressure sensitive screen that can sense how firmly you are pressing on the screen. Based on the force with which you press, it will offer you two functions, peak and pop. You can press lightly on the screen to peek into content to get previews, and then you can press even firmer to pop into the full content that you just previewed. That's one of the features of 3D Touch. You can also firmly press on app icons to bring up menus that allow for quick actions. You will also be able to use 3D Touch gestures within apps and in various places across the iOS system. I'm also going to throw in the fact that the Note 7 does allow you to do split screen multitasking which means you can have two apps running side by side at the same time, which is a great software tool that the iPhone 7 Plus lacks. As you can see, it is quite complicated, but everything boils down to making a choice between a limited environment that is iOS, that is not customizable, but offers an extremely rich app and gaming ecosystem versus a very open, fully customizable environment that is jam-packed with very useful tools like the S Pen that adds incredible software functionality. I do have to say that the S Pen is a much more useful tool to have than 3D Touch. So when it comes time to make a decision between the iPhone 7 Plus and the Note 7, just think hard on the software. For now, let's move on to the camera. Let's get the numbers out of the way. The Note 7 sports a 12 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of f1.7. The iPhone 7 Plus is slightly different. It has a dual camera system. It has a regular wide angle 12 megapixel camera with an aperture of f1.8 and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with an aperture of f2.8. The primary reason the telephoto lens exists is to give you two things, 2x optical zoom and bokeh. Both phones have optical image stabilization. So which camera is better? That's really hard to answer because both of these cameras produce absolutely stunning photos, whether it is in bright daylight or in low light conditions. I am going to simply tell you that it won't matter which phone you pick as far as the camera is concerned, because either way you get stunning results. Note 7 had a better camera than the 6S Plus, but the iPhone 7 Plus has caught up and even introduced a dual camera system that works to give you optical zoom. Now optical zoom is great, but two times optical zoom, though quite welcome, doesn't impress me to the point of making it a game changer. What really matters to me is the camera quality, and like I said, they're both fantastic cameras not to be taken lightly. I do have to say that when I inspected similar photos on a high resolution computer screen, iPhone 7 Plus seemed to have more fine detail, but not by a large margin. What about the video? Both phones can record in 4K at 30 frames per second, and obviously they can record in full high definition, which is 1080p, at 30 frames or 60 frames per second. You can also record slow motion video at 720p at 240 frames per second. 
Now the iPhone 7 can also record slow motion video at 1080p at 120 frames per second, something the Note 7 can't do. And finally on the front we have a 7 megapixel camera for the iPhone 7 and a 5 megapixel for the Note 5. They both do an amazing job of capturing selfies or video conferencing. Alright, so the conclusion is an easy one. No matter which phone you get, you will be a happy person when you take a photo. Now let's talk about the battery. The iPhone 7 Plus has a battery capacity of 2900 mAh, while the Note 7 has a battery capacity of 3500 mAh. Now as far as battery life is concerned, you will be pleased to know that both of these phones will get you through the day no problem with medium use, bordering even on heavy use. That's a healthy combination of making calls, text messages, launching and interacting with your daily apps, catching up on news, maybe a couple hours of gaming and video, and just being on your phone browsing and pretending to be doing important stuff while you are actually checking useless updates on your Facebook. And that's fantastic. But the great thing with Samsung smartphones is that you get numerous battery charging and battery management features which are designed to make charging faster and extend your battery life as much as possible. So here's what you get with the Samsung. You get fast wired charging which charges your phone from 0% to 50% in 30 minutes and from 0% to 100% a little over an hour as well as fast wireless charging if you hate cables which charges your phone from 0 to 100 in a little over 2 hours. Note 7 also has a new customizable power savings mode that can lower the actual screen resolution and limit maximum brightness to extend your battery life. For the iPhone 7, you don't have fast wired or wireless charging, but you do have a low power savings mode that will turn off some visual effects and some other battery intensive features to conserve battery life. So for battery life, both phones do a great job of giving you a full day of use, but as far as charging options and software capabilities for extending battery life, Note 7 has a lead. Let's move on to the security features. Fingerprint sensors are standard on both phones and they work flawlessly 99.9% .9 of the time to unlock your phone, pay for purchases, and log into apps that support fingerprints. However, the Note 7 now features an iris scanner as an extra layer of security. There is an iris recognition camera in the front of your Note 7 that reads the contours of your eye and creates an initial signature for future verifications. So when you want to unlock your phone using your eye, you look at the sensor, it verifies your eyes against the signature and unlocks your phone. For me, this isn't a feature that would make me choose the Note 7 over the iPhone 7, but it might matter to you. Anyway, let's talk about colors and prices. The iPhone 7 has five colors. Jet black, which is a high gloss black that shines, a matte black, silver, gold, and rose gold. Prices start at $769 for the 32GB model. The Note 7 has four colors, gold, silver, blue, and black. Prices start at around $800 for a 64GB model. And now let's do a speed benchmark and then we will move on to a conclusion. We will be using the newest iteration of the Geekbench benchmarking tool to see which one of these phones produce more raw power. So let's scale all the background tasks and launch Geekbench and I will of course fast forward to the end of the benchmark so we don't waste two minutes staring at the screen. Not much to say here really, the numbers speak for themselves. Both in single core and multi-core performance, the iPhone 7 has a clear lead over the Note 7. So it's pretty much obvious that the iPhone 7 does have more raw processing power and this could be great for advanced apps such as video editing apps and also some fantastic games. To conclude which device to buy is very hard. First of all, category after category, the Note 7 has more technology. It has a sharper Quad HD display, even a larger screen on a smaller form factor, a more impressive design and fancy features such as the iris scanner, more charging options, and better water resistance capabilities. It also runs on Android, so you get to customize your phone to your heart's desire. If you want to give a superhero look to your phone's interface, you can tweak every nook and cranny of the phone to fit that theme. iPhone 7 Plus is a different product. It is a smooth, stable operating system that runs as fluid as a phone can. It has no customization properties, but it has a powerful app 
ecosystem. Anyone who is hungry for apps and superb games above anything else would be better off with the iPhone 7 Plus. But let's be careful, I don't want to give the wrong impression here. It's not that the Note 7 is so far ahead of the 7 Plus, it actually isn't. Both of these phones are the staple of their respective companies. They're both flagship devices and they dominate the marketplace. Both phones have amazing cameras, both phones have some powerful internals, though the 7 Plus seems to be faster per our benchmark. So here's the best advice I can offer you. If you're an Apple user, switching over to the Note 7 will give you the best experience you can get from Android. Note 7 is the king of Android smartphones. Conversely, if you are a Samsung or Android user, switching over to iPhone 7 Plus will give you the best of the best from Apple. Either conversion will make you realize that you have gained something amazing, but have also lost something amazing. Unfortunately, we do not have a phone that is a fusion of the 7 Plus and Note 7. If there was such a phone, I would call that phone iNote 7 and I would ask you to buy it. Now let's say you don't belong to Android or Apple. Let's say you're an innocent bystander with no preference, just wanting the best of the best and trying to pick something fit for you. If you are that person, the neutral person, you have to start by thinking whether you would have access to top of the line apps and games or to a smartphone that is fully customizable with an amazing little accessory known as the S Pen that will let you write and sketch as if it wasn't a real piece of paper. And of course, Samsung will still give you a ton of amazing apps and games, but remember what I said, the quality of the Apple App Store apps and games are better than the Play Store apps and games, period. If you already own a Mac or an iPad, an iPhone might be the best choice because they do work very well together. Well, that's basically all I want to touch on. Just let me know how you feel in the comments below. Tell me which one you chose and why, and don't hesitate to give me some intelligent details. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Saki Tech, and have a fantastic day.